What is the biggest fear that prevents you from diving into the world of cryptocurrency? With cryptocurrency taking the world by storm, it is no wonder that it has also attracted cyber criminals and scammers as well. It is frightening enough to get deceived in the real world. How much more if you become a victim in the digital world? The cryptocurrency market is not new to these kinds of frauds, and in this video, we will talk about one specific fraud that has victimized a lot of crypto investors. The rug pull. If you want to know what it is and how to avoid this scam, make sure you watch until the end of this video. Welcome to the Crypto Kings YouTube channel. On this channel, our team works tirelessly to be your one-stop shop for crypto. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because you're not gonna wanna miss any of the great content we have planned for you. Also, if this video is helpful to you at all, please like this video and leave a comment with what type of video you would love to see next. All right, now let's dive into today's video. What is a rug pull? Imagine investing in a new cryptocurrency that is making a hype all over social media. It promises a price that increases every single day, so you jump right in. As you try to check on your investment every day, you see that it increases twice or thrice the original price. You get so excited that you decide to hold it in with the hope that it will increase even more. Then comes the following day and you see the price of the new crypto going down to zero. Just like that. Well guys, you might be a victim of this fraud called rug pull. Rug pull is a fraud by crypto project developers with an intention to run away with investors' money. For new and first-time investors, this is a very discouraging experience that often results in them not attempting to invest in the future. That is why in this video, we will show you the different ways this might actually happen and how you can easily avoid such type of scam, so make sure you stay tuned. Yanking Liquidity This is the first method developers do in order for them to make a rug pull. At first, when new coins or tokens are developed, they essentially have zero value in them. A coin or token will only become valuable when investors trade in them. So in order for the new coin or token to have value, developers will put a small portion of a valuable token together with the new token to a liquidity pool. They do this so it can be traded and thus have a value. Now once investors catch the attention of this new token, they will trade their valuable tokens in exchange for newly minted ones. This is how the new coin's value will skyrocket fast and when the developers see this, they will do a rug pull on all the tokens they have put on the liquidity pool. This is considered a scam in the crypto market because even though the developers have put their own tokens in the liquidity pool, they will be earning more of the total valuable tokens everyone has put in. Because of this automated market makers feature in liquidity pools, developers will be able to gain profit from all the tokens everyone has invested. This leaves all the investors with nothing to trade on anymore. Selling their shares This is a sneaky method done by developers. Although this is a slow process and even hardly noticeable by investors, developers can still gain profit from this. What developers do in this method is advertise the new tokens they created to several investors. They will offer a lot of good things together with this token, like it will solve Ethereum's problem or they will build a metaverse alongside it. Once they convince the investors of this project and the price skyrockets, the developers will then sell the tokens that they have put in themselves when they first launched the cryptocurrency. Because the crypto market revolves around the different cryptos themselves, this will result in a profitable gain by the developers. And although this is a slow process, other developers have been known to have actually done this in a matter of minutes only. Developers don't give the investors the ability to sell. This is the most common method developers do to create fraud. Since everything in the crypto market is automated, meaning it is written in a piece of computer code, developers can easily delete the function in the code that allows the users to sell. They do this so that the developers will be the only ones who can sell them. And as the market goes, if tokens just keep getting in and not being sold, the price will continue to rise fast. Again, once developers see the skyrocket in the token's price, they will then sell their own tokens that they have invested themselves in earlier when the prices were low. Now you might be asking, with all these methods being done by investors, how can you avoid a rug pull? Well, these are the signs you need to look out for. Liquidity is not locked. Since yanking the liquidity is one of the methods developers do to do a rug pull, this is also what you must look out for. Make sure you look out for tokens that have locked up their liquidity pool. This is one of the best signs that your investment is in good hands. Also, take a look at the duration of the lockup. Some developers set the duration of the lockup for a few months only. This allows them to do a rug pull when investments come in fast. So make sure to look for a duration that lasts for a very long time and does not expire for only a few months. Few wallets own a large percentage of all the coins. 
This is an important thing to know especially for new investors. You can actually see the comprehensive data publicly of who is holding the majority of a certain token. You can view them on platforms like Etherscan and TokenView. Now, if you see that a large portion of a certain token is only owned by a few, then this probably means that all these are the developers who just bought the tokens themselves and they are just preparing for a rug pull. But you also have to understand that developers are not the only ones who can actually crash the price of a token. You should also keep an eye out on whale wallets. A whale selling 2% of all the tokens will significantly have an effect on its price. So watch out for these whales because they can really manipulate the price easily. They put the majority of the tokens into a burn wallet to hide the true percentage. This is a tricky sign that you should watch out for. What developers do here is create a lot of tokens and then eventually burn the majority of it. Now for our viewers who are new to this term, burning is simply a way of sending tokens into an inaccessible wallet. This means that those tokens cannot be used. Now going back to the third sign, if you will look at Etherscan, you can see that the top token holders own a very small percentage of the token. Let's have this example for better understanding. Developers will create 100 tokens. Eventually, they will burn 90% of the tokens, leaving only 10 tokens in circulation. If there are 10 developers of this token, this means that they will own one token each. It will then show on other scan that the developers own only 10% of the total token. But what the truth is, they hold 100% of all the circulating tokens. This is considered as a whale wallet. Third-party audits are done on the network. Remember guys, the more audits are done from different trusted sources for a token, the more it is legit. This is a major green flag that you should look out for when you want to avoid a rug pull. Next, check if there's an active website or social media page. Now this is the fifth sign you should definitely look out for. If a business is serious about promoting their products, they will surely provide time to make a website or social media pages. You will find it a bit questionable if a certain product or company has no website or even a Facebook page at all. Check out the developer's wallet. Not only should you look up for the developer's wallet, but also see if it's a multi-signature wallet. For you to do this, you will need the approval of several people. This lowers the chance that a developer will do a rug pull or any type of fraud with other people's money. The only problem with this is that you cannot be sure what type of wallet these developers are using. Instead, you will just have to rely on their posts and announcements. Now, in the real world, when you become a victim of a scam or fraud, you easily go to authorities or the SEC to report it. Can we do the same with a rug pull? This is actually a very hard topic since the crypto market is an independent body. Now, what does this mean? Since cryptocurrency is fairly new and the market is very volatile, we do not want the government regulating our finances just like in physical banks. So basically, there are no institutions that we can report once we become victims of frauds like a rug pull. This is the reason why no one ever sued Elon Musk when he made a tweet about a certain crypto that turned out to be a rug pull. There are simply no governing laws that stop them from doing so. Same as no developer or coin creator can ever be held responsible if they make a hype and advertise their coins. For now, let's hope that all these issues will be addressed in the future and let us remain vigilant of these scams and frauds that are exploiting the crypto market. And that is it for today's video. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the Crypto Kings, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for our next video, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who support our channel, and we will see you again very soon in our next video.